Hello, Pisces. Welcome to Music Messages Tarot. If you are returning, welcome back. This video is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As with all the videos on my channel, it's timeless. So whenever you're coming across today's message, that is when you are meant to hear it, Pisces, okay? Also, please keep in mind these are general collective readings. They may or may not resonate with every single Pisces watching today, so please keep that in mind. Take what resonates for you personally and feel free to leave the rest behind, okay? So we are going to get right in. I've been using this, one of my new Oracle decks, to get a baseline for your energy in your love life over the upcoming weeks. Okay, so let's get right in. What is the baseline for Pisces love life this month? What is our baseline energy for Pisces? All right, we have Fortune's Wheel, number 23. That number might resonate with you. That's like the Wheel of Fortune type energy for me. What else is in Pisces' baseline energy in their love life? Stars in the sky, limitless possibilities. And what else? Wow, very powerful energies to start the reading today, Pisces. Perfect storm, the number 44 or the angel number 444 might be significant for you. But what these cards are telling me, Pisces, is that you have everything in your life right now that you need to manifest whatever it is that you are looking for. And your love life, your love sector, your romantic sector is no exception. That is amazing energy. Okay, we're going to consult the traditional tarot now to see what other messages want to come through. But that is really a beautiful energy to start with. It's a very empowering energy. It lets me know that really you're kind of like a manifesting machine right now. You can manifest whatever it is that you are looking to, to have in your love life, whatever type of connection that you've been looking to achieve. So that's amazing. What else does Pisces need to know in their love life this month? Okay, we have the Knight of Cups right out of the gate. So someone with really extremely romantic feelings for you. Um, it could be a, another water sign. Oh, wow. Page of Swords energy. So this person is looking in on you in the physical world from what I'm getting here, Pisces. There's a lot of spying energy happening. Um, it could be a water sign, like I was saying. So Cancer, Scorpio, or another Pisces. It could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But the signs don't have to match up. All this is letting me know is that it's somebody with really romantic feelings for you, looking in on you, spying in on you. And with the four of pentacles here, this person's feeling like low key obsessed over you and possessive. They're not wanting anybody else to kind of come into your life and make a romantic connection with you because they, with this ace of pentacles coming out, have a very solid romantic offer that they would like to present you with. Okay, Pisces, this is turning out to be a very direct and fast-paced energy that I'm picking up on in your love life. So this person may be coming in with communication rapidly, or at least that's how they're feeling. Um, let's see what else wants to come through for you. I'm just going to continue giving this one last shuffle. What else does Pisces need to know this month and the upcoming weeks? We have the, um, the world, sorry, I almost said Wheel of Fortune, but it is coming out on top of that fortune's wheel card that we started with so cyclical energy that's what i was picking up for aquarius as well you may have aquarius heavily aspected in your chart or you might be dealing with an aquarius because it's a very similar kind of overlap of energies there just this brand new romantic cycle that wants to start um, we have the seven of swords but it's coming out in reverse the seven of swords in reverse indicates some kind of truth coming to light um, I feel like whoever this secret admirer is that's been kind of peeking in on you with all these romantic thoughts and feelings towards you, Pisces, um, they've been kind of deceptive in that they haven't made their presence known. And I feel like they want to make their presence known to you. We have the Ten of Pentacles coming out in reverse, which is interesting. Um, this person may be leaving some kind of long-term relationship. Not sure why I'm feeling compelled to say this, but they might be dealing with some kind of health issue as well that has them looking at their life differently or coming to some kind of new perspective about their life. Um, not sure if that 
will connect to how they decide to come forward with communication towards you, but it just might be indicative of something that's going on on their end. All right, what else does Pisces need to know here about this person or in their love life this month? What else does Pisces need to know? All right, we have the strength card. So that's Leo energy. Might be dealing with a Leo, but I feel like something is going on in this person's life that is requiring them to muster up a lot of strength to overcome that obstacle. I don't necessarily think this is connected to their romantic feelings for you in any way. I feel like it's something that's just going on in their life independently of your connection. Okay, but as always, we're going to clarify. Let's start with this Knight of Cups energy. Who is this Knight of Cups? Ace of Swords. It's someone who's going to be very clear about how they feel about you, what they think about you, um, what they want with you. And if this is not happening currently, then this is futuristic in the near future. With the sun card here, first of all, we have heavy Leo energy on the table, but also this is someone who envisions a very happy, harmonious connection and future with you, Pisces. All right. So when they come across you, it's like Cupid's arrow has hit them. We have the Knight of Swords coming in as well. So we have the Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords, and Page of Swords. Heavy, heavy air sign energy. This person could be an air sign. Um, but I feel like they want to communicate. There's like this impulse to communicate towards you. There's this impulse to like send a message or something. But with the Two of Pentacles coming out on the Page of Swords, I feel a little bit of resistance kind of weighing on this person. Wow, we also have the, the two of swords coming out here. So yeah, some kind of decision or weighing out how they want to approach you. Um, you might be seeing angel number 22 or 222 a lot. We have the knight of wands also coming out in reverse. That's interesting energy here. Sometimes that can indicate like a player type disposition, but I'm not getting that here. I'm getting someone who's afraid to take action. All right, someone who is in their, up in their head too much about how they want to come towards you and they're actually having a hard time doing it physically and bringing themselves to actually send the message. There's big feelings here though, guys. It's just that this person's a little bit like scared or intimidated by your energy. Yeah, we have the death card coming out in reverse here on the four of pentacles. So this person wants to put an end to one phase in their life and move into this romantic connection with you, but they're holding on to something. I feel like they are feeling possessive over you, but I also feel like there's something holding them back. Um, it could be a third party connection with the Queen of Wands. All right, they could be dealing with some kind of karmic connection. If not, then they just see you as this very, very attractive presence. Um, yeah, Five of Pentacles, though. I feel like this person is feeling left out of your life, but with the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles having come out in reverse, there might be some kind of divorce or family situation that is causing some kind of strain in this person's life involving a third party. This might be affecting them financially as well, which might be part of why they're hesitant to come towards you. All right, but we have the world card coming out again. Again, it's coming out on top of the Ace of Pentacles. So this person wants to start a brand new beginning in their love life, and they want it to be with you. When they come across you, if they haven't already, they're very sure that they want to pursue a romantic connection with you. I feel like there's some kind of like turbulence around this person though in their own life and I do feel like it might have to do with a karmic partner that they're separating from because we have the five of swords coming out there um, and we have the page of cups also coming out in reverse clarifying this ace of pentacles so this person because of whatever they've recently gone through in their own life feels I feel like they are so intimidated by you emotionally like you come across as very stable as very um like intuitive, nurturing, that empress type energy. And this person feels like a page in comparison to you. Not just a page, but a page in reverse. Um, I don't feel like that's this person's true nature though. It's just how they feel because of something that they've recently gone through. It has really shaken their confidence and um, really affected their self-worth. In some cases, it's affected the external circumstances in their life that have them feeling a bit more unstable than normal. All right, but with the Eight of Wands here coming out on the World card, this person wants to communicate with you. That impulse, that desire to reach out, it's very, very strong. This person sees you as a Queen of Pentacles, as a very stable, 
self-sufficient, nurturing type energy, almost like an empress energy. And again, it doesn't matter if you're divine feminine or divine masculine. You could take that as it connects to you. But they see you as this divine, stable energy, almost somebody that they have up on a pedestal. Yeah, look, here's the empress card. They see you as a divine counterpart. And again, if they haven't come across you yet, then this is in the very near future. Okay. Uh, let's clarify here on the seven of swords in reverse. I feel like this person has something that they want to be truthful about or some kind of truth they want to reveal to you. We have the king of wands. So it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the emperor coming out. Wow. Yeah, this is a true divine counterpart, Pisces. They want to step into that divine energy and feel like a true match for you. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of self-deception going on. This person's kind of like mind-fucking themselves a little bit into feeling not good enough for you. But I feel like, you know, the strength of the connection that they feel towards you whenever it is that they come across you actually pushes them back into this king, emperor, true divine energy. Okay, we're going to get some additional clarification here. We have the queen of swords coming out on the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this very well may be a divorce that this person is going through. Um, you know, Ten of Pentacles can represent the family life, the full package, you know, like the happily ever after, the white picket fence, metaphorically speaking. And the Queen of Swords, King of Swords, some kind, sometimes can indicate divorce. So with the Ten of Pentacles having come out in reverse, and yeah, now we have the Page of Wands, I'm always drawn to how the Page of Wands looks like he's looking over his shoulder but walking away from something on this card. It almost gives me like an Eight of Cups type energy every time I pull it. So I feel like this person is separating from something long term. If it's not an actual divorce, then it's some kind of long term uh, relationship. The side message, though, that I've, I'm being told to convey again just for somebody, and this is going to be a very specific message, is that someone here might be dealing with a health issue too that's affecting things. But yeah, we have the Hierophant, that's Taurus energy, uh, coming out on the Strength card. With the Hierophant, the Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like it is a divorce for somebody here. We have the Nine of Wands as well, so someone feeling like a wounded warrior, not really feeling like they're getting anywhere in their current connection and they need to separate from it. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They don't want to invest in this connection any longer. Whoever this is, Pisces, they're going through something very difficult on their end. I don't feel like it really affects how they feel towards you. It just... I feel like it causes a little resistance because they don't feel good about themselves right now. Or yeah, we have backstabbing coming out. So this person may have been cheated on or treated really poorly in whatever this connection or situation is. They may have some trust issues because of that. Um, yeah, we have the talking card coming out though. So this person wants to communicate. I feel like they're going to communicate. There's just a little bit of resistance in the energy from what I'm picking up here. Okay, what else does Pisces need to know here in their love life this month? We have ship. This is like the six of swords in this deck for me. This person that is connected to you very heavily on an energetic level is trying to move into this brand new phase in their love life. They really want this new phase to start. I feel like there is a little resistance or like loose ends that need to be tied up with whatever situation they're coming away from. And some of that might just be internal at this point. Like they, if it's a divorce, for example, they may have gone through the divorce process already, but they're just kind of working on healing themselves fully right now. Um, but yeah, there it is, Cupid's arrow. I think I said that before, Pisces. If this person's come across you already, this is how they feel towards you. And if not, this is happening in the very near future for a lot of you. We have the self-indulgence card coming out. I think that that's just showing that your person is going through some kind of healing phase on their end. But it's also letting you know, you know, you don't put your life on hold. Um, continue to pour into yourself. But wow, we have wedding rings coming out as well. So I do feel like there's a divorce involved for someone here, but you also have long-term potential with this person. Like if it is someone who just went through a divorce, I feel like they're going to want something long-term with you. Yeah, separation. I feel like this person is going through some kind of separation from another romantic partner right now. There may have been addictions involved or like codependence in this relationship that they had with the third party. 
but they do immediately see a future with you. We have the narcissist card coming out as well. So I feel like whoever this third party was, I'm almost getting like a queen of wands in reverse kind of vibe off of that person. Um, I feel like they were with somebody very narcissistic, self-centered, somebody who just kind of brought them down. All right, let's get some direct message messages from this person's higher self. What would this person want to say to Pisces? What messages does this person want to say? I'm obsessed with you. Yeah, <laughs> with that page of swords energy, I'm not surprised to see that. All right, so this person is obsessed with you right now, Pisces. Very heavy obsession. Nothing unhealthy. It's just they're very, like, very focused on you. And again, if this is not somebody you've met yet, this is futuristic. I can't come to you now. There's that little resistance in the energy that I was picking up. I feel like the impulse to communicate is really strong. But there's just something they're still holding on to or needing to deal with. I don't know who I am anymore. Whatever life event this is going on on this person's end, it has catapulted them into a little bit of an ego death here. Um, I see them overcoming it, though. The impulse and the desire to communicate with you is very, very strong. I can't handle your love. Like I said, this is someone who is mind-fucking themselves a little bit into thinking they're not good enough for you or that they're like a page compared to your empress energy. But in reality, they're the emperor. We did see the emperor card. You are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. Yeah, there's that like worthiness wound that they're working on healing right now, like we were picking up on before. I can't talk to you right now. There may be a little bit of a delay in the communication for some of you just because they need to fully go through this healing process and get their confidence back. That's why we saw the strength card. They're really working on that right now. I wish I could be fully honest with you. Someone who wants to communicate in a candid and authentic way, um, but they're either dealing with some kind of self-esteem issue or some kind of practical issue holding them back right now. For some of them, it's both. But I do see them coming towards you and overcoming that. All right, let's get one final lover's oracle message here for you, Pisces. I can't shuffle these on camera because of some of the artwork. But what is one final message for Pisces in their love life this month? When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. This is a message for you to allow divine timing to take its course, but it's also a message for your person. Your person is learning how to let go, learning how to love themselves again, to be quite honest, because whoever this other partner or situation was that they were dealing with did quite a number on them. So they're learning that self-love and learning to just kind of allow things to unfold naturally. But at the same time, there is this really strong desire to reach out and communicate with you. I see that impulse winning over, like winning out. Um, but there is a little resistance right now that I'm picking up on. So they have to overcome that first before they make that ultimate decision to reach out and say something to you. I feel like for a lot of you, this person knows who you are already. I don't even feel like this is futuristic for a lot of you because that was the energy I was originally picking up. So some of you can expect communication sooner rather than later because this process has already been kind of happening. Um, but for others of you, this is happening in the very near future that you come across this person. And these are some of the things that you can expect if you found that this reading resonated with you. Okay. So if something was resonate resonant with you today, sorry, can't speak today. Uh, if you can like comment and subscribe, it would really help the channel continue to grow. I want to thank everybody who's been doing those things. It has really been helping. Other than that, though, I'm wishing you all the peace and harmony, guys. And I do hope you have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.